To a story now of a tourist who was stranded in Westmoreland due to the closure of the country's borders. Now, the man left the island this morning. However, he shared his experience with our news team on Friday. Here's Anthony Lugg. Meet William McFarlane, a resident of Kentucky in the United States who visits Jamaica every year. He's among a group of friends who were stranded in Negril, Westmoreland. In previous years, Mr. McFarlane and his friends were able to visit beaches, bars, and mill around the hip strip along Norman Manley Boulevard. But due to COVID-19 restrictions, that's no more. This last month and a half, these curfews, these quarantines, our beaches closed, our resorts gone, you know. We miss all the pretty girls that <laughs> went to Vera Club. I mean, it's a... <laughs> this is a lonely place now. Then have to, having the beaches shut down and, and public places we have to cover up now. In March, the U.S. State Department urged citizens to avoid all non-essential travel and advised persons in countries where commercial departures remain available to arrange for immediate return. Mr. McFarland says he tried, however... American Airlines has canceled me two, three times. I keep rebooking. Uh, after 90 days, we have to extend our visa. My visa ran out on April 4th, so I'm overextended 21 days because of these cancellations. I've been stranded here in Jamaica. Last Sunday, the U.S. Embassy in Jamaica, Kingston, sent me an email telling me that JetBlue had available flights for U.S. citizens wishing to leave and that I should make arrangements because all other major airlines have suspended operations here in Jamaica. He made those arrangements and was booked on a flight for Saturday morning. He's looking forward to see his family, but he remains concerned. America's a real hot spot right now. We have the most cases and the most deaths. It's really tragic and state by state, it gets, it gets harsher, you know. Uh, Jamaica's one-tenth the size of my state, Kentucky. Uh, Y'all have well over 230 cases now. That's like four counties in my state, and that's, that's spooky numbers. I'm, I'm ready to go home. Every year I dread leaving here, but uh, this year it's, I'm glad I got a flight. So when I go home, I'm supposed to self-quarantine for 14 days. I'll head out to the farm way out in the country, and I'll hide away for a couple weeks. i got to protect my countrymen, too. Anthony Log, TVJ News.